Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a video on some of my favorite items. It's going to be a July slash August favorites video because it's too late to do a July video and we're in the middle of August. So it's just going to be July slash August. The first thing I'm going to show you are my Suave Professional Moroccan Infusion Shampoo and Conditioner. I absolutely love the Suave Professionals line. Um, I believe I've told you guys that in some previous videos. I stand by Suave Professionals. I'm not a big fan of the regular Suave. I never have been, but Suave Professionals, I will use over any shampoo. So far, everything I've tried, I always go back to my Suave Professionals. I had recently showed you guys the Paul Mitchell Moisture and then the Renewing Moroccan Argon Oil Conditioner that I had bought. Both of these are crap. This one just does not lather up. You have to use tons and tons of it, and it still doesn't lather up. You have to use like half the bottle just to get a little bit of lather in your hair. This stuff sucks. It smells really awesome. I have used it before. I thought I liked it, but I just don't. And this stuff, I will use it if I need conditioner, but it's not moisturizing at all. So I stick with the Suave Professionals. Another favorite of mine is my Salon Graphics Hairspray. Um, I love this hairspray. I stand by it. It's very inexpensive and affordable. A little bit of this hairspray goes a long way. So if you're looking to do your hair down and in a dry kind of curly look, this is perfect for that type of look. Another favorite item of mine is my Moroccan Argon Oil Hair Oil. Um, this stuff is awesome and it's very affordable. I put it on my hair when my hair is still wet and it makes my hair very soft and manageable. Another favorite is Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. And this is not my favorite as a dry shampoo. I actually don't like it that much anymore as a dry shampoo. I thought I did, but I don't. Um, I saw in one of Kendall's videos that she used it as kind of like a root booster when her hair was wet. So I started using it as that to see if it would work, and it does work awesome as a root booster if you spray it on your roots while your hair is still wet. So this actually turned out to be a favorite for that reason. Another favorite for this month is my Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I showed this to you guys when I had purchased it. I absolutely love this foundation. I'm not saying that I won't ever use any other foundations, but this probably will be one of my go-to foundations for a very long time because it is very full coverage and it leaves a really nice finish. Another favorite is going to be a body wash. It is the Caress Passionate Spell. I absolutely love the way this body wash smells. I will not use this without a loofah though because it's very like, I don't know, runny. So you have to use a lot if you don't use a loofah, but with a loofah, you don't have to use a lot at all, and it smells awesome. I absolutely love the Caress Passionate uh, Spell, so that is definitely a favorite for the two months. Um, some more favorites would have to be my Beckham Signature Perfume. I absolutely love this perfume. As you can see, it's pretty much almost gone. I've been conserving it because I'm afraid to run out of it because I love it so much. Every time I wear this perfume, everybody says, oh my gosh, you smell so good. What's your perfume? And not even just that, I love it. So I haven't been able to find any more of it, but I will find more because I absolutely love it. I do recommend this perfume. It's more of a spicy smell. So for those of you that like fruity floral smells, um, this is not one of those perfumes. Another favorite would have to be my Candies Lip Gloss. And I think the reason that this is a favorite is just because of the really cute packaging. It's got the cute rhinestones on top. So I just really like using it because I like to see the rhinestones. It is a good lip gloss though. It's not just because of the packaging. I just think that's one of the reasons that I do like it. It's a very light, clearish pink right there. Um, it goes on really, really um, easily. It's not too sticky. So this is definitely one of my favorites. Another product by Candies that um, turned out to be a favorite this month is my Just Beachy palette. And it's also by Candies, as I think I already said. It's got five different colors in it 
It's got this vanilla type color, this bronzy gold, this medium brown, um, a dark brown, and then a very, it looks almost grayish black, but it's really a dark, dark brown. The colors are called Golden Goddess, Buried Treasure, Perfect Tan, Bronze Babe, and Teeny Bikini. They are very pigmented. They're very nice when they go on. They don't really have any shimmer in them. I just really like them. Another favorite in eyeshadows would have to be this uh, Rimmel Glamize HD Mini Palette. This is one of the little eyeshadows that I showed you guys. I got on clearance for $2.24. I actually hope that this isn't just one of those things that they put out and then only keep it for a couple of months. I hope they continue to put this out because I really, really love the brown eyeshadow in it. I actually have it on right now. I've been using it a lot and I really really like it. So I was actually really happy that I got this for two bucks because this is definitely a favorite. I've been reaching for this more than any of my other eyeshadows. Um, Some more of my favorite eyeshadows are definitely these little Maybelline ones. I've been using these for years. I will switch out and go to other eyeshadows, but I always come back to these little Maybelline ones. I have the, my three favorites that I use the most are the Champagne Fizz. I use that as a base. My Vanilla, I use that kind of as a highlighter under my brow. And then my Copper Craze, which I use to highlight my brown. I kind of just go on the top of it to make it not so harsh. So yeah, these are definitely favorites because I find myself always going back to these. More of my favorites are this Revlon Lip Butter. And it's one of the ones I got on clearance for the $2 or no, is it $4? I don't remember, but I did get it on clearance. And it's nothing to do with the fact that it's a Revlon Lip Butter because like I told you guys before, I do like the Revlon Lip Butters, but I don't see what the huge hype is about them. They are nice, but they're not as great as people make them out to be. The thing that makes this a favorite is the color. I really, really love the way this lipstick looks on me. I just love it. I've been wearing it almost every day. You can't even really see it that much, but it's on the top right there. It just gives a really light, pale pink look to my lips and I just love it so that's definitely a favorite I can see this being gone within the next week and a half two weeks because I use it that much lately some more favorites are my Milani 3d glitzy glamour gloss that I showed you guys I got this from the Dollar Tree um, I didn't really have really high expectations for this because it was at the Dollar Tree but I ended up actually having this as a favorite because I really like the brush on it it's just one of those brushes, and it's actually very moisturizing lip gloss. It's not too sticky. I don't like really sticky lip glosses. It's just really pretty shimmery, and it's very moisturizing. It's almost like if you had chapped lips, instead of putting on a chapstick, you could almost use this because it's so moisturizing. But instead of using a lip gloss for moisture, I use my baby lips. I actually picked up a couple more recently. Every time I see ones that I don't have, I pick them up. I really love the baby lips and these are going to be a favorite for this month because they have the SPF in them. I don't know what it is about the SPF. I just love the smell of sunblock and I can not taste but kind of smell the sunblock in every single baby lips I buy and they are very moisturizing. So that's another reason that baby lips is going to be one of my favorites and the ones that have the pink in them like this, they actually do add color to your lips. Like, you can see a very noticeable difference in the color. So, yeah. This one is Pink Shop. Another favorite would have to be my two Rimmel Mascaras. I love both of these mascaras. Um, this is the Rimmel Scandalize, the big orange one. And this one is the Rimmel Wow Lash. I actually don't really use these by themselves. I pair these together. And I know that probably seems like a lot of mascara. I have it paired right now. I don't know if you can really see. My makeup looks like crap. But 
it actually gives you a lot of volume. I put like two layers of this Rimmel Scandalize, and then I put like three, after it dries, I put like three more layers, thin layers though, like not really, really thick. I do like three more th thin layers of the extra Wow Lash by Rimmel, and for some reason, I just like the combination. I wouldn't mind using these by themselves. I just like the pair. So these are definitely favorites out of all the mascaras in my little makeup drawers. Um, Some more favorites. Hopefully, I didn't already show these to you guys. Are these Freeman masks. I had showed these to you guys, but I actually went and repurchased both of these. Um, I normally pick up another different Freeman that I haven't already used, but I liked both of these so much that I went and repurchased them about a week ago. This one is the Charcoal and Black Sugar. It's an exfoliating mask. This bad boy really does exfoliate your skin. And then this one is one that I've gotten like tons of time. This, t sorry, tons of times. This is the Avocado and Oatmeal. And these are just great for those kind of like beauty nights when you just want to sit back and paint your toes and kind of pamper yourself because these are the ones that you put on and they dry and they harden so I actually repurchased this one all the time and these are very good for your skin so these are definitely on my list of July and August favorites um I don't know how much more stuff I'm gonna show you I think I'm gonna show you like three more things um, this is one of my favorites. It's the Body by Body Ecology, if that's how you say it, Spiced Caramel and Cider. And I don't like this as a favorite for body spray. It does smell good. I like this as a house spray. I know that's weird, but it just makes my house smell wonderful because I always use candles, um, plug-ins, the little oil refill things, and for some reason, when I spray this in my house, it just makes it smell really strong, and I just like it. So this is definitely a favorite. Another favorite, as far as scents goes, is my son's Scentsy Stuffed Animal. This is a stuffed animal, especially made by Scentsy, and I love the brand Scentsy. It's very strong. Um, if you're looking for something that's you know, really going to be fragrant in your house, Scentsy is the way to go. And the cool thing about this little Scentsy stuffed animal is he has a little spot in his back right here. It's got a little zipper on it. It's like a little pouch. And you buy the little Scentsy, um, like, pouches. They have beads in them. This one actually is in newborn nursery. And this wouldn't really be like my favorite scent by Scentsy. It's actually like a powdery smell. But because my son did want the elephant, it already had that scent in it. Um, I just let him choose that one. But it did scent up his room like majorly. Like it made his room smell so strong for like maybe like seven months. You couldn't go near this stuffed animal because it smelled that strong. Um, I've had this stuffed animal for almost a year and I have put a new refill in the back and I would, like I said, I normally would not get that scent, but it's the one that my son likes. So, and it did come with that scent. So, um, yeah, I just thought this was a really cute idea to get your child's room scented up, smelling good and give them something cute. 